on Australia crew there. We have Hoy, a great Greek crew. We have a German rider crew. Who will it be now? Edgar leading the way from Perkins. Uh, Edgar there. It's a very small in stature, very big in speed. Shane Perkins and Edgar. Riding a lot quicker than the others. He spoke about the walking pace. These riders are all tactics involved. So we see there Edgar and Perkins just eyeing each other off as they come through now. Edgar, two to go, swivels around like a puppet on a string because he knows that Perkins is waiting for out. Well, he'd like to have Perkins on a string in just a minute. Rod Edgar was in eighth place in the World Championships in March, the ninth fastest qualifier here. So, if nothing else, he's at least consistent. Silver last night in the Kieran, bronze at the World Championships in the Kieran. He is an exceptionally fast finisher, and as you mentioned before, he's a deceptive finisher as well. He's just a small sort of a bike ride for a sprinter. Perkins really trying to line it up here and get command of the bike race at Ballet. Edgar tries to hold him on the hip. This is the moment of decision of this bike race as they hit the back straight. Perkins is going to get over the top of Ross Edgar. Nothing separated him in Colbine. A bike leg is going to separate the bottom of the half a wheel at the end because Ross Edgar fought back, but it was Perkins that got the better of him in the end. It was a rough and tumble final sort of allowed to Shane Perkins. It's gone through. He has indeed. He left an opening there. Edgar took it. Perkins got in front. Perkins